So I was just sitting here thinking, and you know, in general, what could people do better to improve their video content? I think one of the easiest ways is capturing B-roll footage. So I wanted to give you some inspirations, give you some ideas on how you could improve your videos or enhance the way your presentation plays out. The first thing that you wanna focus on is your transitions. Whether you're going into a new room, leaving the scene altogether, going into a new building, changing topics, or if you're just escaping or ending the video, you wanna have a good quality transition that makes sense. Sometimes a simple twist of a doorknob, of a key, waving, driving off, pulling in. The sun could be setting, it could be rising. You could have a waterproof camera that's coming up out of the water or going into the water. A drone takeoff or just a drone landing coming down into the scene itself, up and out. We could have smoke or steam. One of my favorites is just an obstruction. So if you're walking and talking and there's a tree that comes in front of the camera, that's a perfect point for you to go ahead and transition to the next scene. If you're going into the drawer for something, to pull something out to show your audience, you know, nobody wants to watch you turn around, fumble around with your keys, open the door and stuff they want to be able to see that action that kind of draws them in i think a lot of times in videos there's a little bit too much action all over the place different angles and stuff and sometimes the smoothest of transitions can make the most sense another thing you want to focus on when you're capturing b-roll footage is just the close-up of the activity in general if somebody's playing basketball maybe you want to zoom in on their laces their air pockets or the foot movement to just see how they're interacting or reacting to the dribble you could be walking and talking and hear a bird in the background and you want to show that bird right it could be a handshake really close up show the firmness of that hand handshake or the body posture of that person making that handshake or just from the waist down. It could be somebody catching something, whether that's the ball itself or maybe a pan across the room or there's some raindrops or snowflakes on their nose, right? Zoom in on that stuff. Show the detail. There could be other sounds in the background like a whistle, like a sports game, like I was saying before, that whistle blows. Are you zooming in on that whistle? Maybe just the hand, the whistle in the mouth itself. You're not actually getting the whole referee, but you're capturing a split second of that whistle. Grabs people's attention away from that action so there's not that awkward moment and then draws it back into the scene in general. Show people what's going on on so that they can get a better understanding of the full picture, right? Even physical contact like holding hands or readjusting your apparel or readjusting somebody else's apparel, that intimacy of that moment can really communicate a lot in a video. Now to me, walking around in nature or here in my backyard in the woods is one of the best ways to capture some amazing B-roll footage. I mean, you hear sounds all over the place, whether it's the crumpling of the leaves underneath my feet right now or the snow, or maybe I hear dripping of the rain or just the animals in general bustling about. Like there's tons of stuff to capture that can pull people away from the actual action of the video, but still make it relevant and interesting enough to watch. One of the easiest things to do is capture the wind. Yeah, I know that may be kind of hard when you initially think about it, but you see trees moving back and forth, leaves falling, plants, somebody's hair, stuff blowing away, right? Trash. There's all kinds of ways to capture the wind and the effect that it has on an activity, action, or your overall surrounding areas, right? You know, doing a video in the middle of a downpour or just rain in general, even if it's a sprinkle, it could be a little bit of a distraction. But now if you're able to zoom in on those drops, it's falling or dripping from a tree branch or dropping into water on the surface of the water or maybe just splashing down on the street now that creates a whole different perspective you're either ground level or above but you're still at that scene and it's just like writing a story or a book right you want to describe every element of that picture so that people can feel like they're a part of that moment it's the same with video you don't want to just talk at people you don't want to just be cheesy or lazy you want to be able to captivate them if you can hear water rushing in the background because of a stream or a river or waterfall or something then find it find out what it looks like what's the best angle are there clouds is there other weather going on right things about the area the space that you're in or the region that you live in the geographical features how do you encompass those things how do you communicate them and how do you incorporate that into your video to make it make sense or make it make more sense i mean even having somebody run their fingers through some bushes or even the grass or touching a railing as they're walking that makes those really distinct sounds that everybody knows and it can kind of make you feel a certain type of way right so let me give you two examples of two settings where there's tons of b-roll footage the first one is sitting in a car you can shoot video of somebody driving or in the back seat or just that experience in general right could be kind of overwhelming but what's going on outside of the car what's the weather like like i mentioned before what do the tires look like spinning what's the engine sound like and look like as it's going what's the bumper look like what's the bumper sticker look like what lights are going on are you turning your turn signal on are your bright lights on are there flashes is it nighttime do you have a sunroof what does that angle look like when you're looking up into the sky what type of emotions can you create in that that setting just like any other non-verbal or b-roll movement what is being opened what is being closed what's being pushed and pulled what type of buttons are being utilized what type of compartments right what's in the glove box what's that sound like what's behind the seat is there entertainment is there magazines uh, is there trash right is it dirty is there dust coming up are there blankets are people cold is there frost around the windows there's so many little details just within a car coffee in, in the cup holder right what are people reading what are they doing what are they listening to 
you what type of vehicle is it and what do they appreciate? What's the climate like inside and outside? Encompass everything in that little conversation that you're having in the car or a little documentary maybe. It's pulled out to be even more engaging because you take the time to capture the little details. The same thing can be said in an office setting at an extensive level. There's a lot more drawers. There's a lot more doors. There's a lot more different handles, buttons, right? I mean, you're talking about drinking fountains, the power buttons for computers, cell phones. Are there TVs on in the office? What type of meetings are going on? What type of people get along? What's going on in the kitchen, in the break room? Is there a lounge? Is there couches? What's that material look like? What's the quality of the equipment look like? Is it comfortable? Is it bland? What are the little details that really bring out the culture or bring out the space? What could be better? What's maybe uncomfortable? Are there windows? What's going on outside? Is it on the third floor? Is it on the ground floor? Is it in the basement? Or is it on the 30th story in the middle of a city? You know, where's the office at? How do you capture all these little things? Is there a butterfly in the flowers outside the window? Are you looking inside the window? You know, all of this stuff is just straight creativity that you're able to incorporate in a video that's really simple to do all by yourself, just walking around the building, walking around the space, seeing what the floors look like, what's the organization cleanliness look like. And like I keep saying, what are the intricate details that bring out the space? Decor, bustling, interactions, perspective, steam even coming from a coffee can all really pull out the intrigue in somebody watching a video. If you're piecing together a production project and maybe you just need a couple of ideas based on the space or the environment that you're in, shoot me a message, ask me some questions. I'm always an open book, but either way, be purposeful with everything you do, guys.